Before seeing this video, we all suspected we knew everything there was to know about Freddie Mercury. We will reveal details about the lead singer of the Queen Band that you may not have known. Let us explore the things you may have known and did not know about Freddie Mercury's childhood and rise to fame. The lead vocalist for Queen Freddie Mercury was born on September 5, 1946, as Farouk Balsara in Zanzibar, East Africa. His multi-ethnic background in a family affected his perspective on life. After attending St. Peter's School in India, he went on to Ealing Art College to study graphic design. After Tim Staffel departed the band, Freddie took over as lead vocalist and developed an interest in London's progressive rock and rock blues scenes. Queen was founded in 1970, and Freddie picked the name because he thought it best reflected the band's sound, regal and ostentatious connotations. The band members drew inspiration from a variety of elements, including Brian May's intricate guitar work and Roger Taylor's powerful drumming, when John Deacon was appointed bassist in 1971. With the publication of their second album, Queen II, in 1974, the band's ambitious musical breath and Freddie's theatrical flair came to the fore. Their third studio album, Single Heart Attack, began to garner significant notice. Their song The Single Killer Queen, The Unseen Struggle became a commercial breakthrough that year. Freddie Mercury had an extraordinary existence. He was well known for his spectacular stage appearance and amazing singing voice, but beneath the public image was a guy going through difficult personal struggles despite being a huge celebrity and being adored by millions. For much of his life, Mercury struggled with numerous personal issues that the outside public was unaware of. One thing that caused Mercury a lot of emotional difficulty was his sexuality. Although Mercury was bisexual, most people were unaware of this. At the time, this was particularly true for the rock music industry. Despite being in relationships with both men and women, he frequently felt alone and engaged in arguments with himself due to his complex emotions. Mercury received the devastating news in the middle of the 1980s, a time when HIV-AIDS was still a relatively new and little understood disease. Only his closest family members and friends were aware of his illness since he did not want to subject himself or his family to the shame that comes with having it and because he wanted to preserve their privacy. Mercury felt upset by this privacy, especially because he continued to pursue his artistic career and public persona. Unreleased video of Freddie Mercury reveals these unresolved issues, highlighting the complexity of his life and his resilience in the face of adversity. The band shot to international superstardom with the 197.75 release of their fourth studio album, A Night at the Opera Queen. Queen put out some notable albums in the late 1970s and early 1980s, such as Hot Space, News of the World, A Day at the Races, and Jazz the Game. They became well known as a group for fusing disco, rock, pop, and funk into a diverse sound. They went on to become one of the most influential and diverse bands in rock history, releasing hits like We Are The Champions and We Will Rock You. With his captivating stage presence and powerful vocals, Freddie Mercury enthralled audiences globe throughout his iconic live performances. One of the most iconic rock concert performances ever, their 1985 live performance marked a turning point in their career. Music history was irrevocably changed by the band's unquestionable cohesion and Freddie's captivating stage persona. The band continued to play despite Freddie Mercury's declining health from his battle with HIV-AIDS, as well as other personal and professional setbacks. Long after Fred's untimely death in 1991, their inventiveness and tenacity ensured that Queen's reputation would endure. From a tiny boy in Zanzibar, Freddie Mercury became a global rock icon. He was an incredible artist. People all throughout the world have been profoundly impacted by his ability to blend many musical genres, push the boundaries of creativity, and captivate audiences with his amazing on-stage presence. A recently discovered, previously unreleased, rare footage of Freddie Mercury provides a devastating yet inspirational glimpse into the final years of his life. It highlights the significant issues he had to cope with as his health deteriorated. An honest glimpse at Mercury's battle with AIDS is provided by this rare footage, which the public has not seen in decades. It highlights both how committed Mercury was to his profession and how his health was deteriorating. Mercury is seen practicing while appearing weak, exhausted, and to be losing weight in one particularly affecting scene of the hitherto unreleased video. Mercury's passion is evident in his commitment to producing outstanding performances, demonstrating his intense work ethic and passion for music. During these practices, he interacted with band members, 
demonstrating their closeness and mutual regard. This offers a heartfelt look into the encouraging atmosphere that enabled Mercury to get past his difficulties. The never-before-seen clip highlights the stark contrast between Mercury's onstage persona and his private life. Although Mercury was in agony and exhausted, he displayed a weak and human side and refused to allow it to find him. His public and private lives were extremely different from the issues he kept hidden from everyone else, as evidenced by the video showing him practicing with the same intensity and working non-stop in the studio throughout his prime years. Freddie Mercury's battle with AIDS had a severe influence on his ties with friends, family, and other people he cared about as his health went worse. The way his inner group functioned altered significantly, demonstrating the emotional toll his disease took on those closest to him. For those closest to him, who had to support him while simultaneously managing their grief and helplessness, the decision to keep his sickness a secret made things even more challenging. This depressing period of Mercury's life highlights the courage and strength he needs from himself and everyone who showed him love and support throughout his final years. The impact of Freddie Mercury's disease on his relationships and his personal life are discussed by the author. The author emphasizes his strong relationships with his supportive and amiable bandmates and close friends, including Mary Austin and the members of Queen. The chat between Brian May, Roger Taylor, and John Deacon, three of Mercury's teammates, reveals their camaraderie, which combines politeness with sincere concern for each other's welfare. The last days of Mercury's life, his final studio sessions, and the intimate and revealing video recordings of those sessions are all covered by the author. These recordings demonstrate Mercury's ability to continue producing great music even as his health deteriorated. They spoke and collaborated during these sessions, and it was clear that Mercury was determined to give it his all, even if it meant enduring pain and exhaustion in order to complete tracks. Mercury's health deteriorated, and he eventually ceased being famous and going out in public. In the final days of his life, he remained more and more by himself, surrounded solely by close friends and family. The private film from this period depicts a quiet and intimate farewell, which is considerably different from the lively larger-than-life persona, indicating that this time was characterized by a great sense of solitude. The readiness of Mercury to disclose his illness to the public in November 1991, according to the author, was a turning point in the battle against HIV-AIDS. Just one day before his passing, the news was released, and it profoundly affected both fans and colleagues. Beyond Mercury's willingness to discuss his condition, the music industry played a significant role in eradicating the stigma associated with AIDS and fostering greater respect and understanding. With his immediate family and friends by his side, Mercury spent his final moments alone at home. To ensure that his final days were as quiet and private as possible, only a select few were permitted to visit. Mercury's health declined during this period of silent strain, but his spirit remained unwavering. We get a unique and intimate glimpse into Mercury's final moments with a previously unreleased video from his last days. The film demonstrates how his final day's private reality differed greatly from his public persona. It is an emotional look at a wonderful life coming to an end. So viewers, for the next update please subscribe to our channel, thanks for watching.